story, how to tell a true war story, in the things they carried, weaves together the narrator's comments about war stories, Kurt Lemon's death, and a mysterious tale told by Mitchell Sanders. The platoon is in deep jungle, when Rat and Kurt play a silly game they invented that involves tossing a live smoke grenade, then dancing around in the smoke. The soldiers hear a noise, a detonator! When Kurt moves from shadow into sunlight, he steps on a booby-trapped round, which blows his body apart. The light seems to lift him into a tree full of moss and vines and white blossoms. The narrator describes Kurt's death as almost beautiful. He and Dave Jensen climb the tree to collect Kurt's body parts. Dave sings Lemon Tree as they do this gory work. After Kurt's remains are flown out, Rat comes across a baby water buffalo. He pets it and tries to feed it, then shoots it in the knee, then shoots off one of its ears. Rat continues to shoot different parts of its body, not to kill, but to hurt, while the others watch. But somehow, the buffalo stays alive. Rat whispers something to it, starts crying, and walks away. Kiowa and Mitchell dump the dying animal in a well. Mitchell, as always, finds a moral to the story. Vietnam is the garden of evil, where every sin's fresh and original. After Kurt's death, Rat writes a long letter to Kurt's sister, praising Kurt and describing his silly behavior despite the gravity of war, but Kurt's sister never writes back. Mitchell then tells the narrator a story about six soldiers who blend into a mountain to listen for enemy movement. For seven straight days, they're silent, but during the next few days, they hear strange music, sounds, and voices that come from the foggy mountain. Finally, the soldiers lose it, calling in airstrikes. In the morning, the soldiers still hear the strange noises on the mountain. They return to base camp and refuse to talk about their experience. The moral, Mitchell decides, is that nobody listens. Politicians, civilians back home, and military commanders don't understand Vietnam because they've never listened to the enemy in the vapors and rocks of its landscape. The narrator explains that the purpose of true war stories is not to teach or inspire or suggest models of proper human behavior. Stories may fluctuate between truth and fiction. A thing may happen and be a total lie. Another thing may not happen and be truer than the truth. And a true war story never seems to end.